Eric Sky here. Uh, challenge of the day, staying inspired. Um, I think inspiration is just kind of the fuel that keeps this whole thing going. Um, and a lot of times when we hit places where we're kind of stuck or kind of not as motivated as we were before, or you've plateaued, it's because the fuel has run out and you must replenish. Um, so the challenge of the day is really think about what really inspires you uh, to play and to grow and to create. Um, my top suggestion for sure is to go and see live music. Uh, I think other than um, possibly enticing the opposite sex, the main reason why people get into this is because they saw something, they saw some live music at some point that just changed their life. And, you know, that was your calling, you know. Um, so think about that. Um, it's now in this day and age, I feel like I always have to say this, you know, it's, it's, it is really inspiring and to, to look at people on YouTube um, and to, uh, you know, and, and as always to listen to records and stuff like that. But like I was talking about with, you know, finding a teacher, there is something more that happens when you have an actual experience. I guess that goes without saying, right? But um, think about that and, you know, try to get yourself out there. Um, I'm pretty busy and family guy and, and I travel to, to play guitar and stuff. So, you know, a lot of times it doesn't really excite me to think about going and getting my car and uh, going out to see live music, but you got to do it once in a while because it really just lights the fire again. And, um, you know, another challenge is to sort of think outside the box too. You know, if you're, um, you know, if you're really interested in jazz, you know, maybe go see some you know, um, chamber music or something, or if you're, or go see some punk rock, you know, go see something. Um, but, you know, think outside of your box and, um, and th maybe think outside of the box of, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to buy tickets to the big stadium show coming through town either. Um, your local university might have some recitals or people, people coming through town that you don't really know about. Um, your music store. I mean, now there's this thriving house concert scene, but think of alternate ways. It doesn't mean you have to buy $200 tickets to see the Stones, um, but there are all these sort of possibilities to go out and see a little something. Um, and uh, I think that that's, that's a great way to get inspired. Um, but, you know, expanding it a little bit more broadly, I think, you know, looking at other art forms is a good idea too. I mean, for me, going to our Portland Art Museum sometimes just kind of lights the fire. Reading a good book, going to a great restaurant, seeing a great movie, all of that stuff. Think about how you can kind of channel that back into, uh, you know, maybe just makes you want to work hard and be good at something. Uh, or maybe there's a, a theme in something that you saw that you can somehow put in your music. But um, it is part of the job to stay inspired. And if you just sort of don't tend the fire, it, it can kind of go out and you can just sort of get into this malaise about playing and, and getting better. But I think if you think back, you know, it, it, it's very likely that going and seeing somebody that really inspired you is what started this whole thing to begin with. So that's it. Have fun.